What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing Gojo Imaginary Technique Purple from Season 2. I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser. And hit your pause button if I move too fast for you. Okay, or speed it up if I'm going too slow. Or mute it if you don't like my voice. You know, <laughs> whatever you want. So, set the point of my page about here. Come up over to the right hand side. His head is tilted. We're in the right hand corner. So his eyes are like on this kind of a line. Okay. So, anime eyes, big eyelashes, curve a line first, up and around, big wide eyes, right in this, like his eye is like really far open, right, so it curves up and down like that. Kind of hooks down the back, right, so it goes sort of down this way with a spike. And then we have all of his eyelashes that go around, right? So you just add all these little spike lines. Roughly going around this way. Right? And it goes all the way down to the front here, like another sort of set of spikes. This way. And his eyelashes kind of go. Give me big purple eyelashes. Okay, his bottom eyelid line, just down here, you leave a bit of a gap and then it comes around. Like so. And then they do draw in like his tear duct sort of a little bit like, like this kind of thing. So big wide eyes, so you can see the full blue of his eyes. So you just do a circle in here. And then his pupil in the middle. Right. So he seems to have an eyelid line just above here, it looks like. So like coming across top of his eye, then like another one under his eyebrow there. And the eyebrow itself is real high up. So it's just hard to see. It's under his hair mostly. So we'll just go to about there, I'd say. And then we have a wide section at the front. And it just comes back like so. So again, big wide eyes. Like so, right? And then the other eye over here, do the same thing. You're about three quarters of an eye over. You can't fit a full eye. So his full eye will be too big, right? So we'll go, say, tear duct the distance, right? Tear duct to like the other side of the iris. We'll give you your width between both of his eyes. It's about three quarters of his eye. So there and there about the same. So we'll start there. Right? So it's not quite a full eye. It's a little bit smaller because we're not in proportion in Jujutsu Kaisen. The eyes are bigger. So again, big curved line up. And again, it hooks down the back. Like, like that. And then we have a couple of hooks, uh, spikes at the front for his eyelashes. Doesn't have to be the same as the other side, you know, because eyelashes move and stuff. So we keep going. Keep adding eyelashes. Do, 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 do. And it kind of just goes down like that then. And then his eyelid line here curves around and they do draw in his tear ducts a little bit. Like that. I think we can see eyelash lines coming down from here. Well, so they kind of like have like a line there, let's say like lines that way. And then like little sort of dots and dashes kind of stuff, not sort of fully drawn in. It's just like this kind of thing. And then the iris in here, 
circle again. Boom, and then pupil in the middle. Okay. So again, we have an eyelid line just going sort of across the top of his eyelashes there. Most of this is under hair, so you don't see it. His big eyebrow, again, mostly under hair, but we'll draw it and we can erase whatever we don't need. Okay. Sorry for the noise, that's my children. <laughs> Um, and then we have another eyelid line, like this kind of a thing, here. I think it comes down. No. Is there another line there? Maybe. Can't see it anyway, because of hair. Okay, so that's his eyes, basically. And they've, again, they've little sort of dart of blood or something. Okay, so for his nose, we can just see like a nostril line, sort of here. Well, it's like the side of his nose and the nostril and then we have a smaller one just there and then maybe like a note the bridge of his nose sort of here some hatching on it so his mouth is just kind of flat but it's three lines right so just down from the nose we'll go one you just want to you could do a full line if you want two and then a third just down like that so he looks kind of crazy but in anime they do these little gaps <clears throat> just to like give the impression that the lips are kind of touching and then bottom lip sort of there so his chin quite square just here so you can see now the sort of head tilts of his face and in terms of proportion I would say eyelashes to the nostril is about the same as nostril to chin so here to here is about the same as here to here and then nostril to bottom lip about the same as bottom lip to chin so this space and this space are about the same and then this space and this space are about the same okay so we go for the jaw and we're aiming sort of sort of at the corner of his eye like here across from like his top lip right so we'll go here to like there right so just like underneath his eyelashes or just on that level just beyond the eyelashes so aiming for the same spot on this side so sort of like here right if you had a ruler, you know, you could line them up across from one another. So there is where you change your direction and you go up the side of his face. So you go this way. Okay. Like so. And he's been in a fight, so there's like all scratches and blood and stuff coming down from his mouth and on his cheek here as well. Now these are all colored red, but we'll just do it manga style because we're using a black pen or you're using a pencil. You can always like go over your pencil with ink afterwards, of course. So then the rest of his hair, so he's got like fringe spikes coming all the way across his eyes and then we just go up to the top of the page. So for example, let's say So let's just go for it, right? So all these spikes coming down his hair. So we'll go Okay, starting in this manner and then we go the whole way across there's no easy way of doing it you just have to draw each one coming across like that some of them are thinner than others coming right across his face there's ones that like come down from the top here as well crisscross ba -ba. Let's 
So all these curved hairlines. Like so. And then some more on top here. Like some textures and stuff. And then some cover his ear. Like another one just in here. And then more on this side. Right, and then we can see his ears just inside here. Just the shape for them there. And something similar on this side. Right. And then the ear lines inside there. Like so, I think he has a hair spike that hangs down there, and maybe a couple on this side too. So, neck, short line here, and a long line here, right? Because his collar comes across this. So, I just need to brighten up my picture. Is that, a, is that a jacket collar? What way is that? Okay, so collar sort of comes down there and then comes seems to come across his neck this way and down. And it's like it becomes jacket going down that way. Same on this side, so collar. It looks fairly flat. I'm not sure if it's a jacket or what is it. Hmm. So that way, right? And then there's a white shirt inside. So a white shirt here as well. Like that, and you can just see the collar on that one. And then we got some neck muscles just inside. There, and maybe like Adam's apple. I think it's just a straight color, isn't it? Because it just buckles over, I think. So that means it just goes down that way. And then his other side of his jacket here. And we've got a hand here and like a shirt line. Just going down off the page there, like a button. That and then his shoulder just goes off the page there. There's a hand here and a hand here. Okay, so his hand is like grabbing his jacket on this side. So you've got like a knuckle here and a knuckle here and a knuckle here. Three fingers is what we can see. And this comes up to his hand there and then down like so and then his thumb is on top of that real close up right real big and you can just see like thumbnail just there it's all out of focus but i'll draw it in as best i can one and then like knuckle lines the way they do it in jujutsu occasion is like that usually usually um like this do you see another one there? Maybe not. So that kind of a thing. 
and then like a jacket line that way shirt line okay so then here we have the big hand right the one that's like about to flick the purple so it's kind of like floating here and then joins up to his hand with his shoulder so the thumb is the biggest thing it's massive right it goes off my page two fingers sticking out this way and a hand here so it's like in line with his mouth sort of right so the back of the thumb goes up that way and then it like curves around and you can see like skin lines at the back of it and then it like bumps itself down that way so then we have his index finger curving lines for knuckles right and then this goes down that way sticks out for a knuckle which goes in down there okay and then his in, not the index middle finger like this knuckle here down like that and then this seems to come out from around the thumb back that way they like to add these little bumps just where the skin would fold and then down like that then we can just see the palm of his hand here and a finger going this way and it's just done with these bumping lines right it's like heavily foreshortened that means that like it looks real stumpy so you can just see maybe like the base of it here like that and then his little finger again it's all real blurry goes that way I'd say and then it just joins the side of his hand like that so like the palm of his hand lines just go that way that's all they really draw for it and there's some details on the fingers so we got like knuckle lines and his nails on his fingers. You can just see that there. Top of the nail here, down in, down in. And then we gotta join it up to his body. So you just do all these folding jacket lines, right? So you just go bumping. that and then his armpit kind of area sort of just going down there and his jacket's just sort of hanging down and like maybe his wrist just there so this is like all glowing right so you'll have sort of energy and like a bright circle and a star sort of shape, right? But we'll go sort of just this kind of ball of energy here, just these kind of bracket lines like going around in a circle. And then you may have like lines like this coming out, but it's just all this bright white light basically and predominantly purple and the diagonal lines going around kind of like the hands of a clock you know stuff going around in a circle then all around us and you're going around in a radial sort of pattern and then like little bits of energy coming off
And like a little bright white lights and things. So it'll be tricky enough to color it now because it will be with color you get most of that illusion, you know, purple and faded and you know, shaded detail. But you can draw stuff like this and it can have an impact. Right. So like cross his face and then like all go on. Like so. Right. Best I can do. Imaginary purple. Imaginary technique purple. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.